Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. We're having to do an interim vlog today because the appeal by Trevor Milton, yes, the founder and ex-CEO of Nikola, convicted of massive fraud after rolling a truck without a motor down a hill and saying it had an electric motor, electric motor in it, hydrogen claims. He filed last night, late last night, his uh, motion for a new trial and for acquittal under, under count three. And so, you know, we waited to read it on Pacer uh, here at the courthouse today. And surprise, surprise, it includes uh, several articles by Inner City Press. These were interviews we conducted with jurors just after the verdict. Um, and it says he should get a new trial because it shows that these verdicts are an these were jurors were anti-corporate. They go beyond that and sort of dig into the jurors. So immediately what leapt to mind to me was the saga of Ghislaine Maxwell, convicted global pedophile, and juror Scotty David and her attempt to get a new trial based on Scotty David saying that he was a victim of sexual abuse and had convinced other jurors. But to me, this is worse. This is worse because it basically is saying it's not talking about juror behavior in the jury room. It seems to be saying this juror had a secret anti-corporate animus that wasn't disclosed in voir dire. Who knows? Maybe you didn't ask the right questions. And number two, any attempt to make make it more difficult or more, less likely for jurors to explain their own thought process to the media after a verdict, I think is bad for the process. So we've written it up. We're going to be putting it up. InnerCityPress.com and, of course, Hydrogen Heist. You can check it out on Amazon. Okay, to be continued. It's a little cold out here. We'll keep it short. Inner City Press.